going on guys all right making a video here today this is going to be on the adrenaline e custom firmware for your ps vita running 360 official firmware after installing the molecular shell using the hankaku exploit uh, after installing molecular shell i would recommend installing vita shell just because we're going to have to transfer over a 661 ppp file uh, for your adrenaline to run off of for the e custom firmware itself and uh other than that, we can get going with this video. File I'm going to have you download right here. Uh, there will be two or three links. Yeah, three links in the description below. One link will be to installing the Henkaku exploit on 360. Um, the other one will be for installing Vita Shell on the 360 after installing the Molecular Shell FTP client. And the third and final link will be the direct download link for this Adrenaline Easy Installer VPK. Now, what this easy installer does is it enables you to be able to install the adrenaline automatically without having to go through all the hard steps doing it manually. I've done this manually before. I will be making a video on how to do this manually uh, just in case you, for some reason, don't want to use the easy installer. Um, so I will be making a video with a download of a configuration text that you can replace with your uh, tie config text and all of that fun jazz as well as the individual files uh, that adrenaline installs uh, But for this video, we're gonna go the easy route. So first you're gonna have to download this file here Once you've downloaded this file, you're gonna want to connect your PS Vita uh, using Vita shell um, <clears throat> With a USB cable so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now It's opening up my Vita shell. And here we go. We are looking at the UX0 root. Um, if you're using an FTP client, you're going to be seeing uh, the UX0, YX0, all different kinds of roots. Just locate the UX0 folder and click on that and you will see these folders as well as with a vita shell you won't see all the folders uh, but if you need to get to a certain directory for an example uh, psemu uh, psp emu just type it up in the directory up there and hit enter and you will be inside the folder now the file that we're going to need is uh, the 661 PVP. Don't worry about that because this uh, easy installer will automatically download it. Just in case in the future, if the servers do go down, I will have the link below in the description for download as well. Uh, so once we have that folder available to us, uh, which if it's not there already, again, the Adrenaline Easy Installer will create that directory for you. Um, so, bum, 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 if I can find my file, here it is, file. All right, so Adrenaline Easy Installer VPK, after you've downloaded this file, just copy that to the UX0 root. As you can see, I've already done that. And what you're gonna also need on the Vita is a PSP game. Uh, it's gonna be any PSP game. I recommend using a mini uh, because the minis are only like 10 megabytes, usually 10 to 20 megabytes, so it doesn't take up too much memory space on your card. Uh, so you can go with that and I will be releasing a video on how to install PSP games uh, with and without um, the uh, content manager and uh, How you can actually use the content manager still on 360 you just have to utilize a ps3 But aside from that, let's get back to this video So once you copy that over you can exit this and we'll meet at the Vita so that we can install this VPK package and install adrenaline all right so here we are at the vita i'm still connected to usb in my vita shell so i'm just going to go ahead and exit that uh if you did not put your 661 pvp in the psp emu adrenaline folder uh which is located right here on the ux0 root if you go down to psp emu which is right here hit x and then go to adrenaline for some reason it didn't show it in the folder which is weird but as you can see i have the 661 pvp inside the psp emu adrenaline folder located on the ux0 root you're going to need that file there if you don't have it no big deal the easy installer will download it for you 
And like I said, just in case in the future, if it's not available, I will have it available for download below in a link in the description. So be sure to click on that description and uh, go ahead and read that and make sure you have your molecular shell installed, you install VitaShell, and you can transfer these files over using VitaShell. Uh, and all the download links will be below. So, <clears throat> aside from that, we're going to go to the UX0 root. So navigate to the memory stick root, which is also UX0, just to let you know, for like the 5,000th time. And uh, locate the Adrenaline Easy Installer VPK. Hit X on that, and then you're going to hit X again for yes, and then... I've already done this and installed this, so I'm not going to do it. But then after that, it will ask for a confirmation. Just hit X one more time, and it will install. Once you have it installed, you can now exit to the XMB of the PS Vita. And you will see this little bubble right here, the Easy Installer. So, first and foremost, we see that we have this game right here, the Impossible Game. So, I'm just going to start this up real quick here. And hit start just to show you that this is a PSP Mini and it's actually functioning as a PSP Mini. And like I said, I will be releasing a video on how to get PSP games on your PS Vita without having to update to 6.1 or 6.61 or 6 and 6.63 uh, utilizing a PS3 or utilizing um, no content manager at all. So, uh, which is the more complicated way, but this way it works too. So... You can see that we have a PSP game running here. So I'm just going to close this out and we're going to select Adrenaline Easy Installer. And then just simply hit start. You're going to select Install Adrenaline, so hit X. And then it's going to scan for the folders. You will see that this is the directory folder that the impossible game for me uh, is in. So just simply hit X on that. It's going to install the Adrenaline folder and make the directory is going to write the adrenaline suprx and the adrenaline skprx um, it will create the psp mu psp game npzo2 uh, pboot uh, which is basically once you're inside adrenaline you can now play your game still that you've written over to boot adrenaline it will modify the tie configuration text automatically and it will also check for the 661 PVP. Again, if it's not there, it will download it. And then we're just going to hit X to reboot. Now, this is going to be a hard reboot, so we're going to have to reactivate our molecular shell uh, Henkaku exploit ordeal. Uh, just disconnect from USB at this point, so that way when it rebuilds the database, if it does after rebooting, uh, you don't have to worry about anything really happening to your files because if you do rebuild the database, sometimes if you're connected to your laptop, or your PC, it will uh, actually update the database through the uh, content manager, and that will be a no-no. So once we've done that, uh, I'm just going to go and reactivate my Hankaku exploit, which you can use the offline installer, or you can use the regular installer, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm just going to hit molecular shell and just click install, uh, because I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, this tends to work a little bit better than the offline installer because the offline installer just likes to keep on failing for some reason. I mean, I could just deactivate my Wi-Fi and do it that way too, but I just figured I'd go through and do it this way. Come on. There we go. All right, so Molecular installing the Henkaku exploit, and then it will automatically exit. And then now you can see here we have an adrenaline bubble. What you're going to do is just click on that. This has overwritten the PSP game and successfully installed adrenaline. It will boot up the Mini's logo. And then I believe it flashes. And that's it, yeah. So now we're emulating uh, the eCustom firmware 661 on the PS Vita. And we have PlayStation Portable operating OS running as pretty much a virtual machine. Um on your PS Vita. So, uh, let me just scroll down here real quick. System information. And there it is. 661 Adrenaline uh, with my nickname. and All that fun stuff. And it does operate just like a PSP custom firmware. For an example, if I hit select right here, we have a VSH menu. You can utilize the overclock. You can utilize the different drivers for um, ISO play. 
Uh, it also does have a recovery menu, so we'll just do a little review on the recovery menu. It does take a second to boot, but don't panic. Uh, configuration, uh, you can skip your Sony logo, you can skip the game boot, you can hide your corrupt icons, hide MAC address, um, auto run program at the uh, PSP game boot, eboot PPP in case you want anything directly a boot. Um, UMD mode is the same thing as the driver for the UMD. Uh, fake region, you have all the fake regions there, just like on the old custom firmware, and etc. The one thing that's added is Sony PSP OSK currently disabled. That's basically the same thing as hibernation uh, with the PSP Go, so you don't have to worry about that. And no DRM engine, obviously we have that enabled. And then, uh, you know, your advanced settings and your CPU speeds, plugins, uh, which you would set up the same way in the PSP EMU folder. You would just create a folder called SE plugins and put the plugins there. Uh, registry hacks, that's WMA and flash. And that's pretty much it with that menu. And then finally, the last but not least, uh, when you're in adrenaline, you'll notice that you can't hit the home button to exit. What you're going to do is hold the home button down until you get to this menu and hit settings. It will bring you up to a secondary menu. And all you have to do is scroll down to exit PSP EMU emulation or application. Hit X on that and then you're back to your Vita screen. So thanks guys. Enjoy. And I will have videos coming out on how to install certain things on Adrenaline uh, for your e-custom firmware. And I would recommend getting a bigger memory stick if you're going to do this because there's a lot we can do with that. So thanks guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll have the links again down below in the description as well as the detailed description on how to do this installation. And the manual way of doing this will be coming out next week. Talk to you guys later.